So it's mail day at the Millers. I am super excited. We have three packages for you today from you guys, the subscribers. I am going to open up these packages um, here on camera, show you what has been sent to me. I absolutely love doing this type of unboxing. It gives us the opportunity to see what exciting items all of you, the viewers, um, have sent to me uh, to open up on camera. So I'm really excited to get to this. Um, before I get started, I just want to thank you to those individuals who um, were so gracious to send me these gifts and uh, letters and packages and different things. So. I have three different items. We have a mailer. This one is from Australia. We have a large box here, um, also from Australia. And then we have a letter here, um, and this is from Oklahoma. So uh, we're gonna go through these different items, uh, see what's in them. Uh, I'd like to do it in order of um, how they were, or the date that they were received. So I'm going to kind of look at that and uh, then open them up in that order. So we have, this was sent by Hank Facer. So Hank, I know you and I have chatted a few times on, um, through the, uh, the messages on different videos. So thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm really excited to see uh, what's in the package. So again, this is from Australia. Thanks for putting your photo on here. I love to be able to see who it is um, that has sent me this. So this is really nice. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but behind me, a really little back there, I've got um, my knife, my start of my knife collection um, going on back here up until um, I, I've, I have this letter press board that I'm, I'm hoping that I can convert into like a case holder um, for the different knives. And so I just haven't been able to get to it with um, everything that's been going on in life. It's just been crazy busy, but um, I do plan to get to that. So, and this one will go back on that wall as well. Oh, we've got, oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got a flag here. Let's open this up. Oh, it's the Australian flag. How cool is that? Look at that. Thanks, Hank. That's really cool. Thank you so much. There's quite a few items <laughs> in this mailer. So this is really cool. Ooh, Cadbury, Curly Whirly. I've not heard of that one. So we've got Cadbury, Curly Whirly. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Um, I'm assuming it's chocolate because most items with Cadbury are chocolate. Let's see, is there a description? Oh, it does say, okay. Um, milk chocolate with uh, caramel center, yum. That's gonna be really good. So I think a lot of you know that um, right now we are uh, dieting. So as we receive uh, food items, which we absolutely love, and if you decide to send us something, we will get to the taste tests on them. Um, but we are kind of holding off on doing those a little bit just until we're able to um, get down on weight a little bit or um, have one of our cheat days. So, um, but these will definitely, we will trial these on camera. So there's that one. And oh, I see something super cute. Oh, look at him. It's a koala holding the flag and it's one of those that you squeeze his little back and his paws open up. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's gonna be super cute. Like on, on like clipping to something here in my office and then it, had, it says, I love Australia on the backside. That is so cute. Thanks, Hank. Love it. Oh, this one says for Becky specific. Oh my gosh, Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno. I do love the Kinder Bueno. So it says for Becky on the back. And then we've got Kinder Bueno here. That's awesome. You guys know how much I love these things. These are a special treat to me. I, um, I kind of try to, when I try them, um, or have one, I try to make sure it's a special moment in order to have them because they are fantastic. So, if you haven't tried them, try them. You'll love them. We have Chomp, and it has a dinosaur. It's caramel, mm -hmm. 
and it says it's a monster chew so this must be like a chewy caramel bar oh I should probably put my hand behind it so you can see that hopefully the camera is focusing and you can pick that up so we'll try that as well let's see my goodness there's a lot in this pack oh look a keychain with an Australian hundred dollar well, I don't know that it necessarily equates to $100 here. Um, I don't know what that conversion is. Uh, but then Australian keychain, that's really neat. I will have to kind of put this all together in, in um, a little collection. I keep everything that is sent to me, unless it's like food, obviously, because we're eating that. But, um, but I, I try to keep everything kind of together um, of everything that subscribers send to me. So I really appreciate this. Oh, kangaroo next 10 kilometers, Australia. It's a bloody long way. That's cute. This is a magnet. This will certainly go on the refrigerator. We've got a couple of magnets on the refrigerator. Um, just fun stuff that we enjoy. So that will go on there as well. And then we have Caramello Koala by Cadbury. Yum. Hank, you know what I like. My goodness, chocolate and caramel and this Cadbury egg stuff, Kender, Cadbury, my favorites, my favorites. So this is really cool. Oh look, I got started before. I think there's a note in here and I got started before I read the note. I'm so sorry. And usually I try to look for that first, so I apologize. It says, Clint and Becky, my dear friends, um, Currently, my son is in Ohio on business, so that's really cool. I was born in Ohio, um, so familiar. Of course, not familiar with the whole state, but I uh, haven't been everywhere, but I am familiar. Um, so I arranged for him to take my mailing to the U.S. with him. That's why the parcel may seem strange. I, had, uh, I hope you enjoy my parcel of love. Thanks for being you. Love, Hank. That's really nice. Thank you. I am enjoying this, by the way. And then we've got one more item in here. Oh, two items. And they are coasters. And we need coasters. I have, uh, here, I'll show them to you first. That's really cool. I actually, um, on New Year's Eve, I always love to watch the fireworks being shot over um, this here. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you, this is really cool. But I was saying um, we need coasters uh, because I have a table in our front room that has kind of a leather top. And if you put anything cold or wet or that could have um, a little dew on it, it leaves a ring on it. Eventually it goes away, but I always try to keep extra coasters in that area for that purpose. So these will come in super handy. Thank you, Hank. I really appreciate everything. This is very, very nice. And this letter is, um, it actually says from, or to Mr. and Mrs. Clint Miller. So this might actually be to both of us, um, but Clint had me uh, put it in to my packages to open up for um, subscriber mail. So we'll go through that and I will make sure I share anything with him that might be enclosed in here uh, that goes to him. But this is from Eric uh, Mankey. So thank you, Eric. We will jump in here. I don't really probably need a knife to open this, but it's just gonna make it easier and a little cleaner. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is, this is a pretty fairly long letter here. All right, so it says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Clint Miller, I have to confess to you about no longer working. Um, if the last year and a half, I've went to work about six times. The last time was about uh, a month and a half ago, although it's only one day. I've noticed you have one cat. Question, do you have more than one? No, we just have the one cat. Um, I've been raised around dogs most of my life, although we've had cats um, as well. Our first dog was a female named Sissy. Was a gray... Um, I'm not sure what that says. Um, she had 13 puppies. Oh my goodness. 
At the same time, my great aunt Mary gave me three birds after a while. Um, I had to give them back to her. Only female called her uh, pretty bird. She was pure white with a long white tail. Then she had um, to go as well as moving. Gosh, this is a, this is a really long letter. Um, I don't know how much I should share of, of the, the letter on here um, just because there's some personal things in the letter. So um, I'm just going to kind of not uh, necessarily read all of this on camera just because there's some personal items um, in this letter that I think should um, remain personal. So, uh, but Eric, thank you so very much for the letter and I will be sure to share this with Clint as well. Really appreciate it. The outside of it says it's from Sharon. Um, I believe it's War, uh, Warla, ugh, sorry. Sharon uh, Warrell, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, Sharon, I apologize if I've mispronounced your last name. And then Alice Muir. Um, and this is from Australia in Queen, Queensland, Australia. So I've got a big box here to go through and we'll get, started right into it. Why do I keep saying we? Um, I guess because I feel like you guys are here in the room with me. <laughs> so, I mean, you really are kind of here in the room with me in, in such a way. Okay, so we've got a letter right here on top. The letter says, Hi Becky, my daughter Alice and I, Sharon, watch and enjoy your channel. Thank you very much. We also both agree that Clint cheats when picking an item from the box. Um, which he does. Too much touchy-feely going on. <laughs> I know he's in there digging around, so I had to start doing that too. I have to be part of the, um, you know, hold my own to make sure that I get to win, um, although I hardly ever win. So the challenge with this one, in two seconds to choose. Okay, awesome. You got two seconds to choose. Any longer and the choice won't count. You will need a hand of glass, uh, oh, you will need on hand a glass of milk and a teaspoon for one of the items. Okay, interesting, I'm intrigued. We purposely looked for snacks made in Aussie land and hope you enjoy them. Warm regards, Sharon and Alice. P.S., uh, it has been noticed a few occasions that something need more instructions. <laughs> yes, I know, like that thing that we got the powder and whatever it was. I was like, what do we do with this? I think it was just melted or not quite right. So um, let's see, I've lost my place. A few instructions and it appears that um, Milo is one of them, although it is written on the can. So here it goes. And then she gives us the instructions. So when we go through and actually try this, because we will try the, the treats that are in the box as soon as we have kind of a cheat day, as I mentioned earlier, um, I will make sure that this is in here so that we can um, go through everything. So let's take a look and see what's in. I promise I'll package it back up so that when we go through the, the treats, um, he has that two seconds to be able to pick what he wants. Oh my gosh. Oh, he and I are both going to love these. I can already tell you. I have never seen these. But one, it's meat lover pizza. And you guys know pizza is a red light food for me. I can't stop. I absolutely love it. So these are pizza Doritos. What? What just happened? Like, blow my mind. These are going to be good. I know it. So thank you for those. This, this bag, um, I love so far on the top because I'm seeing it's all similar types of treats that, um, because he's a salty kind of snacky chip and I'm more of a chocolate girl. So, um, I'm seeing on top, most of this is like chips and salty kind of stuff. So it's a even kind of match. Okay, so we have Fantastic Delight Sour Cream and Chives Flavor. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Introducing the taste sensation of crinkle cut rice cakes, deliciously seasoned with delectable gourmet flavors. Yum, yum, and yum. <laughs> All right, we have Smith's Barbecue Chips. 
I'm gonna try to go through these fairly quickly because there is a ton in this box. Smith's chicken chips. Those will probably be good. Cheetos, uh, the cheese and bacon balls. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, twisty cheese. Fun. Smith salt and vinegar. It's, um, I'd be curious to hear from you, um, is Smith's kind of like the Lay's here in the U.S.? Um, the, the logo kind of looks similar. That's why, that's why I'm asking. I, I don't know. Um, but here's a Smith's original. And you may or may not know. Um, you, I don't know if you're familiar with Lay's chips or not. So um, Arnett's Shapes Original Pizza. Yum. And these are perfect sizes for like taking to lunch or just a snack. And then we have uh, Arnett's Shapes Vegemite and Cheese. That'll be interesting. And then the barbecue flavored ones. I'm telling you what, you guys, this box just keeps going on and on. Um, burger rings, big burger taste. Clint is gonna love those. And then we have Jumpies. <laughs> Salt and vinegar potato sticks. That'll be good. Um, Shapes Original Mini Chicken Crimpy. Those look like little Ritz crackers. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Um, authentic French fries that are chicken flavored. We have another Jumpies that is chicken flavored. And then we have French fries, the original French fries. You guys look, it's, it's still going. Oh, hopefully I don't knock anything off the table. Oh look, it's all falling off the table. I need a box, a second box. This is crazy amounts. Oh, the, I think this is the one that she said I need, will need milk um, available. So this is Nestle Milo, and it looks like it is um, low GI, source of protein, eight vitamins and minerals. So maybe a, um, like a, uh, hot chocolate or even a cold chocolate because it looks like you can do hot or cold. So that'll, um, I've never had that. So that'll be different. And then we have salt and vinegar French fries. Jumpy's original potato sticks. Um, and then now it looks like we're getting into the sweet treats. So we have the salty, crunchy at the top. Now we have sweet treats. So we'll have to kind of separate these out when we do the, the challenge and do like the salty and then um, the sweet. So that way he, it, it's a fair, um, fair battle, <laughs> fair challenge. Ooh, Milk Chocolate Licorice by Daryl Lee. That sounds good. That sounds really good actually. Um, Chacos, these are kind of squishy. I wonder if these are like chocolate, um, oh, chewy chocolate flavored gel jelly babies. Huh, pretty cool. Oh, Nutella. Who doesn't love some Nutella? When um, my daughter and I went to Greece many years ago, uh, it was the first time that she had Nutella and she absolutely loved it. Um, she would have, so they would have brown, the brown bread over there and she was always like, I want my chocolate bread with Nutella on top of it. So when she came back, uh, or when we came back from Greece, uh, we constantly bought Nutella. It was so good. Oh, look, we just opened one of these from Hank. So this is the Caramello, uh, Koala and there's two in there. So I don't have to share with Clint. <laughs> That's terrible. I would always share. Um, fries, Turkish Delight. That looks different. Let me see. Turkish Delight. An exotic taste sensation is what it says. The bar, the bar that is different. Soft eating Turkish Delight covered with milk chocolate. I don't know what that means, but I'm kind of interested. So, I, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Ooh, cherry ripe, double dipped, Cadbury cherry bar. That'll be good. 
uh, crunchy. I think I've had crunchy before and it was good. Pretty sure it was pretty good. Uh, let's see, we have Cadbury Boost. Smooth chocolate center packed with biscuit rolled in chewy caramel. You guys, Sharon and um, Alice, this is crazy amount of stuff. So thank you very much. This is like really, really nice. And we might have to do this in like a couple of different segments because of the amount that's in the box. I think Clint and I's tummies might hurt a little bit if we tried to do it all in one, one sitting. So we might do two sittings of the salty um, and two sittings of the sweet because that, that would be a lot to <laughs> put all together. So uh, we have Cadbury Picnic. And these are like full-sized bars. That's crazy. Um, Star Dunkaroos Chocolate Hazelnut Dip. Yep, yep, yep. Um, party mix. Allen's party mix. And these feel like gummies. Create smiles for the whole family as you open the bag of Allen's party mix. It is a perfect mix with flavor for everyone. Party mix contains bananas, peaches, and cream, milk bottles, strawberries and cream, black cats, red frogs, jelly babies, and snakes. Wow. That's interesting. So every every flavor combination that you could ever like is in there. Oh, beef jerky. I love beef jerky. It's, it's the easiest thing just to carry with you and just have with you. So thank you very much for this because I love beef jerky. Actually, both of us do. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting close, but there's still quite a bit. Um, this is a whole package of cookies. Um, Tim Tam cookies, the original. Then we have uh, Daryl Lee bullet. Oh, these are the raspberry flavored ones. So there's the milk chocolate and then the raspberry flavored ones. Or I'm sorry, the chocolate and licorice and then these that are raspberry. And it looks like that there's two flavors in here. There's a white chocolate and a dark or a milk chocolate. Hits all the good things in the world white chocolate, milk chocolate. You gotta get dark chocolate too, but all the good chocolates. Nougat honey log. Then we have, oh, <laughs> Wagon Wheels original chocolate coated marshmallow and jam. And there's two in here. <laughs> Yum. White chocolate macadamia cookie bites. Oh, that would be so good with some coffee. I enjoy coffee quite a bit. I usually have at least a cup every morning, so those would be really good with coffee. And then we have Anzac, Anzac? Biscuits. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So it's Australia's authentic recipe, Anzac. I think it's how it's pronounced. So, um, let's see how, I don't know that, okay, on the back. Uh, the Anzac biscuit is, uh, as it is known today, came to take its special place in history during World War I. Made with oats, coconut, golden syrup, and no eggs, these biscuits had the unique ability to stay fresh for long periods of time, which meant that they could last the time it took to get to the Anzac, soldiers fighting overseas. Baked by wives, mothers, and sweethearts, these biscuits symbolize love and care from home. Today, Anzac biscuits are a tangible link to our heritage and um, a remember of these values that shaped us who we are today. Well, that's really cool. That's awesome. Love it. So Sharon and Alice, thank you so much for all these treats. And like I said, we will do um, probably a total of maybe four videos um, or something along those lines or kind of cut it up into pieces um, because of the amount that's in here. So thank you so very much. I really appreciate all the snacks. 
Um, I appreciate the letter, Eric, that you sent to us and Hank for the snacks and the, the fun little trinkets that were in the, the package. We will certainly get use out of, the, like I said, the coasters and the little koala bear was so adorable. So again, thank you so much for sending these wonderful items to us. Uh, I really enjoy the mail day that we always um, that we have the opportunity to do um, and and it's exciting for us to share what you guys the subscribers send to us so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoy future videos where we trial all these treats as well um, if you want to continue seeing videos like this other types of videos as well please make sure you go down and subscribe and I would love to thank you again so much for all of the wonderful gifts that have been sent to me um, and to Clint as well. And um, just can't appreciate it enough. So thank you again. Please make sure you go down and subscribe. And if you would like, you can click the bell and you'll be notified of any kind of new videos that come out from me. Um, please feel free to leave comments below. I love to interact with you guys. Um, I love to read those comments. So um, please feel free to leave those comments below. And thank you so very much.